Hey everyone, happy Friday here on MLSsoccer.com. Josh Weisenhunt joined here by Simon Borg. We are recapping stage two of the 2012 re-entry draft. And Simon, with the first overall pick at the top, Toronto FC, the rebuild continues under Kevin Payne. They grabbed Danny Kaler. Yeah, and a lot of people expected them to go defense first. They struggled, obviously, in the back last year. Kaler now expected to pair up with Darren O'Day. Uh, so they go with experience as they rebuild. Yep, and of course, with the second overall pick, LA Galaxy pulling off a trade with Chivas USA to move up into their slot and their they grab Houston Dynamo midfielder, former Houston Dynamo midfielder, as it is now in this case, Colin Clark. Yeah, a little bit of a surprise here that they thought that highly of Clark to trade up to number two. Uh, they're already thinking about the post-Beckham era. Colin Clark, a guy who can line up on the right as well as the left, however, uh, so gives them a, a, an option on the wings. Yep, and now, of course, a lot of teams passed in this second round, which was surprising. But the other big name of the first round that we saw was Connor Casey, now part of the Philadelphia Union. A lot of people called this, Josh. They said that Philadelphia Union have been saying for a while they need a big target man up top to work with Jack McInerney, uh, and so they take Connor Casey. It's going to be interesting now how they mix Latou, Casey, and McInerney. We'll see. Yep, and another big storyline coming out of the draft. There were three, there were a couple big names that went that went undrafted, I guess you could say. Kevin Hartman, Juan Pablo Angel, Julian de Guzman, among others. Is that simply because of expected salary figures and, and how big of a toll that's going to take on teams on teams books I do but don't underestimate age especially in the case of Hartman and Juan Pablo Angel I'm not sure uh, teams wanted to to go into a lengthy negotiating process with two guys that who knows how much they have left yep of course another team that was probably the most active throughout this draft that we saw the San Jose Earthquakes they said they were gonna have to get creative with some of their player acquisitions this offseason and they certainly did that here they select three they grabbed Dan Gargan Ty Harden and Brian Jordan to really shore up that back line of course that needed some depth as, as becoming apparent. It shows you where they thought their weakness was last year. It is the back line. Uh, we'll see what these players can do. Very versatile. Dan Gargan has played all across the back line. Brian Jordan uh, can possibly play on both full back, in both fullback positions. So uh, they're getting creative in defense. Yep, certainly. That does it for us here on MLSsoccer.com. You can catch a full recap and analysis of everything that went down in today's Stage 2 reentry draft on MLSsoccer.com. Have a great weekend.